Tanasi Arts and Heritage Center is a place that brings together regional arts and crafts and is a vital connecting point for East Tennessee's heritage. Christy Smith is joining us with all the details on two upcoming classes. Thanks for joining us, Christy. Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. So let's just talk about Tanasi just in general and what it is that you all do there. Tanasi Arts and Heritage Center is located on exit 32 in the town of Unicoi's Visitor Center. Mm -hmm. Um, right now we have an art gallery in there and we have a conference room. So once a month we've been putting on events. They may be in the community, but then they could be also at Tanasi itself. Mm -hmm. So the art gallery hosts over 60 or more artists through the region, um, Tennessee artists. So we can have witchery type products in there, corn husk dolls, canjos, which is an awesome little banjo mm -hmm. type guitar, um, wood burning, fire burn, you know, products of... Just a variety of stuff. A variety of things, right. yes. And so why do you think it's so important to have something like uh, like Tanasi that kind of allows everyone to see different types of art? Well, it's very important for Appalachian people. We keep our traditions, you know, we have a great culture here in the Appalachian region. And it's wonderful to showcase the great artists that we have in our region. Mm -hmm. um, whether it be artists in jewelry, whether it be artists um, making silk fibers, um, any soaps, even beekeeping, you know, that is a right. traditional art that we've passed down from generations to generations. Right. So it's very and, important. And you guys are having actually a couple classes this week. Let's start with needle felting. Tell yes. me a little bit about what even needle felting is. <laughs> I, I wished I had the products here because Brittany Smith, Smith she lives in the town in Unicoi mm -hmm. and, and she has a farm in the llama and so she uses the llama to for the wool oh, wow. to make her products and what it is is the sculpting of a wool fiber um, or similar fibers using a specific um, felting needle mm -hmm. and so really the product starts out as a wool fiber you know about right. like that and then you just condense it and make it bigger and bigger and so she has made mushrooms birds um, oh, wow. all different types of really unique natural you know things that we find in the woods and wow. you know around our area how so interesting it how is very interesting. interesting and so you guys are actually gonna have a class on that on Thursday right yes the class on Thursdays from 6 to 8 okay. and we put that in the middle of the week so at least people can come to that class because right. right now on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday and Friday from 10 to 5 she's demonstrating the whole day throughout at, at, at Tanasi right now so wow. she's there right now demonstrating anyone who comes through the door to Very cool. check it out. Very yeah. cool and so you guys are also having a pottery class as well right? Yes we are. Um, Nancy and Alan Stiegel own Stiegel's Pottery mm -hmm. off of Noel Checky Avenue in Irwin and they have been pottery makers for probably around 20 years or more now and um, I love them they're a wonderful team mm -hmm. fun couple um, <laughs> they are going to be demonstrating wheel thrown pottery uh, slab built pottery the use of coils in the construction of the embellishments on the pottery so you're going to go through four different stages um, on Saturday of showing how the beginning of pottery is starts uh -huh. and then the ending of what they put the glaze over it as yeah. well. Yeah, and they're actually doing a demonstration as well too, yes. right? Yes, it's Saturday from 10 to 2 um, at Tanasi and the, in the Buffalo Room and the good thing about this is that all these events are free. Yeah. We received a grant from the National Endowment mm -hmm. for the Arts um, last year and so these actually our next next event will be in April so we will have till July we have an event each month until July. Oh that's July. very cool that's yes. very cool and what's great too like you said it's free but you also are bringing artists in that have so much experience in their work as well and people can really learn from Definitely. that. Yeah well Christy thank you so much we appreciate you coming on thank and telling you. us a little bit about some of the upcoming classes right there needle felting make sure you mark it on your calendar this Thursday 6 to 8 but there's also a couple other dates as well if you want some more information just go to tanasiartsorg backslash events also don't forget about the pottery class as well happening on march 24th from 10 to 2 at the unicoi tourist info center you just can visit tanasiartsorg backslash events as well christy thank you again we appreciate you coming thank on. you